Hey everybody, it's Erin at Scandalous Beauty and today I am doing a food video. So this is a recipe by Tyler Florence and it's for amazing French onion soup. And you can find the official recipe below in the about this video section. So I'm going to start off cutting some onions. I think I used four or maybe five onions and this is just the way that I like to cut them. Um, I'm actually just throwing them in the pot, which is a little backwards. You're supposed to actually put the butter in the pot first and kind of melt that down and then add the onions to that. So I'm modifying the recipe a little bit, but it tasted fine. So it wasn't a big deal. I'm actually adding garlic that's already pre-chopped. Um, I did a shortcut here and a few bay leaves. Give it a quick stir. And here are a couple sprigs of thyme that I'm throwing in. I actually added a little bit of dry thyme later on down the line. And I am going to add some salt and pepper as well. I'm obsessed with my salt and pepper shakers from uh, Trader Joe's. So I'm using those. $2. Like you can't beat them. Okay, so... Give it a quick stir and I think you let this uh, cook down for about 20 minutes, I want to say. And this is what it looks like after it's cooked down for a while. So you'll be able to really smell it. Oh, it smells really great. Um, so now I'm going to add a uh, Cabernet. This is a local Maryland Cabernet that I love from Bordy. So I'm adding about two cups of that into the soup. And this really gives it a really rich flavor. You're going to be able to taste the wine and it really does add to the recipe. So don't skip this part. Well, I guess you could, but you're missing out on something really good if you skip this part. So the recipe says to kind of um, let the wine uh, simmer for a long time so that it dries out. I'm not <laughs> really good at that part. So I let it sit for as long as I could. And then I'm like, all right, I got to move on. So you want to uh, dust the flour on the um, on the onions and let that cook down. Dust a little at a time. Do not throw it all in at once. It makes a wine dough, okay? And I have messed that up time and time again. So I finally got it right this time. So just let that cook down and get rid of all the flour taste. And this is what you're left with. Looks a little scary, right? Most people, when they saw it, they were like, what is that? But it's really, really good. And now we're going to add... The, the major <laughs> ingredient besides the onions, which is um, beef broth. So I'm adding two packages of that, I'm trying to get all the good stuff off the spoon, scrape down the edges of the pot, um, and just really let that um, melt together. And it is going to taste phenomenal. So I don't know where our Crocs are. I cannot find them. So I ended up using a small um, loaf dish and I'm going to do it the way that Tyler does it, which is just laying some French bread on top of the soup and then adding the Gruyere cheese right on top and kind of just letting that cook down and melt in the microwave. Um, I think that it tastes fantastic, but... Um, for lunch at work or, you know, an evening, you know, dinner, it's just not always that practical. So um, for the sake of this video and just trying it out since we had time, um, I'm going to try it this way. And this is what it looks like in the oven. I was so excited. It looked fantastic. And then when we took it out, this is what we had. Josh loved it. I mean, he thought it was great. He just kind of transferred into a bowl and it worked out just fine cheese is gooey oh it's good now for a more practical way I make croutons I use these for soup I use them for salads I make these I mean all the time so basically it's just seasonings and um, cheese sometimes so this is day old French bread that I've cut into cubes I'm putting in a plastic bag. This isn't the best way to do it. I'm realizing I put it in a plastic bag with some extra virgin olive oil. Um, I'm throwing the cheese right in the bag, which was kind of a bad idea. Um, it just wasn't practical. 
And then I dump that with some salt, pepper, and like, I think there's a seasoning at uh, at Trader Joe's called 21 Seasoning Salute. So I put that in. And what I should have done is just kind of laid the the bread out and then added the seasoning and the cheese this way and made it this way. Um, (laughs) So I ended up adding everything again because it just didn't make sense to do it the other way. And um, this is these are fantastic croutons. So you just want to leave them in the oven, I think for about 15 minutes, watch them. I burn a batch every time. So watch them like a hawk, turn them if you can. They're fantastic and do extra cheese. I'm telling you it's worth it. Um, that's what it looks like before. And this is what it comes out as these are a winner every time, every time. And I'm telling you to do extra cheese because you get these bits of cheese at the end. Oh, it's so good. So worth it. So this is basically what it looks like when I'm just making it at any night, reheating, adding some cheese, um, throwing it in the microwave for a few seconds, and then adding the homemade croutons on top. It is fantastic. So if you enjoyed this uh, food video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and let me know that you're interested in more. I don't want to make them if you guys hate them. (laughs) And um, I thank you for watching. It was exciting to do a food video. I love cooking. So it'd be great to do more of these videos. Uh, Happy New Year. See ya.